Science 6, Quarter 2, Week 3, Milk Base. Let's learn about Parts and Function of Digestive System. Lesson 1. Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. For today's lesson in Science 6, we will discuss about the parts and function of digestive system. This is Lesson 1 of Week 3. For most essential learning competencies, explain how the different organ systems work together. Digestion is the process of breaking down food into nutrients which the body uses for energy, growth, and cell repair. It consists mainly of a long muscular tube called the digestive tract. This starts at the mouth, continues via esophagus and stomach, to the intestines and ends to the anus. The system also relies on the pancreas, liver, and gallbladder to help digest the food. Here are the different organs of digestion. Number 1, mouth. Number 2, esophagus. Number three, stomach. Number four, small intestine. And number five, large intestine. Mouth. It is the first part of the digestive system composed of teeth and the tongue. The tongue and the teeth are involved in the digestion of food in the mouth. There are different kinds of teeth and performs different functions in the digestion. The first one is the incisors, the front teeth with sharp edges for biting and cutting the food. The second one is the canine, the pointed teeth which grip and tear the food. The third one is premolars, they crush and grind the food. And the last one is molars. The flat teeth used for chewing the food. Another organ is the esophagus. It is a long muscular tube that connects the pharynx to the throat to the stomach. The walls of the esophagus is lined with smooth muscles that contracts rhythmically to move the food through the digestive system in the process of peristalsis. Another organ is the stomach. It is a large J-shaped organ at the end of the esophagus on the left side of the body. The capacity of the stomach is 50 milliliter when empty and can expand up to 2 to 4 liters when full. The end of the stomach has a sphincter muscle that closes and opens to allow the flow of from the esophagus to the stomach. Another organ is small intestine. It is the long coil connected from the stomach. If it is stretched, it is about 7 meters long. It has villi, small like finger projections, that protrude in the lining of the intestinal wall to increase the absorptive area. The absorption of the nutrients occurs in the small intestine with the help of villi. There are three parts of the small intestine. The first one is duodenum. It is the upper 20 cm connected to the stomach. The second one is the jejunum. It is about 2.5 meters long. And the third one is the ileum. It is the longest half coiled through the abdominal cavity. The last 20 or 30 centimeters of the colon are called rectum. Another organ is the large intestine or colon. It is a large coiled tube attached to the end of the small intestine. 
it is only about 1.5 meters long, which includes the colon, rectum, and appendix, and twice as wide as the small intestine. The last 20 or 30 centimeters of the colon are called rectum. Now, let's proceed to learning task 1. Identify the organs of digestion being described. Select your answer from the list. Do this on your answer sheet. The organs that you are going to choose are mouth, large intestine, esophagus, small intestine, and stomach. Number 1. A long coil connected from the stomach. What organ is this? Very good! The answer is small intestine. Number 2. A long muscular tube that connects the pharynx to the throat to the stomach. What organ is this? Very good! The correct answer is esophagus. Number 3. A large J-shaped organ at the end of the esophagus on the left side of the body. What organ is this? Very good! The answer is stomach. Number 4. Is the first part of the digestive system composed of teeth and the tongue? What is this? Very good! This is mouth. And number 5. A large coiled tube attached to the end of the small intestine. What organ is this? Very good! The answer is large intestine. Learning task 2. Place the events in the correct order. Number each sentence 1 to 5. Let's answer. Number 2 is the first event. Food is chewed up. Number 4 is the second event. Food travels through the esophagus. Next, number 1 is the third event. Food ends up in the small intestine. Next, number 3 is the fourth event. Food is in the large intestine. And the fifth event is number 5. Food waste leaves the body. And for learning task 3, choose the letter of the correct answer. Do this on your answer sheet. Number 1. Which moves the food from the esophagus to the stomach? A. Swallowing B. Fluid C. Peristalsis D. Digestion What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter C. Peristalsis Number 2. It is the organ where digestion starts. A. Mouth B. Small intestine C. Stomach D. Large intestine. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter A. Mouth. Number 3. Which organ takes nutrients from your food and puts it in your bloodstream? A. Stomach. B. Esophagus. C. Small intestine. D. Large intestine. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter C, small intestine. Number 4. In which part of the digestive system are proteins digested completely? A. Stomach B. Large intestine C. Small intestine D. Esophagus What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter C. Small intestine. And number 5. In which part of the digestion system does digestion end? A. Mouth. B. Small intestine. C. Stomach. D. Large intestine. What is the correct answer? Very good. The correct answer is letter B. Small intestine. Remember, Digestion is the process of breaking down food into nutrients which the body uses for energy, growth, and cell repair. It consists mainly of a long muscular tube 
called the digestive tract. This starts at the mouth, continues via esophagus and stomach to the intestines, and ends at the anus. So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!